Welcome back to the Comic Books A Lot YouTube channel. I'm your host, James Harris. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a comic book review. In this review, we're going to be covering Mr. Miracle by Tom King and Mitch Gerards. This was a 12 issue, I guess, maxi series uh, released by DC Comics uh, a couple of, over the past couple of years that just was collected in a um, nice trade edition. So we're going to be covering that in this episode. <clears throat> now, um, this um, got a lot of acclaim recently in fanfare. So I, I've always kind of liked the character of Mr. Miracle um, and in the story of the New Gods. So I was really curious about it. Um, I just waited for this collection to come out. thought it would be a good time to read it and give my thoughts about it. And I have to say, this was a hard one to kind of get my head wrapped around and get into. It reads, I've read a little bit of Tom King's work. I'm a huge fan of Mitch Gerard's. I've uh, seen his artwork numerous places, Marvel, uh, DC. Um, so I'm a big fan, even over um, at Image. So I've always liked his art style um, and is a big fan. Tom King, I've read a few of his books here and there, a few issues here and there. I read um, some of his uh, Batman stuff, not the whole run, but I think I read the first trade when he first came on Batman and really enjoyed it. <clears throat> so I'm slightly familiar with him. So I can't say that I'm a fan or a non-fan of, of his work at this point because I just haven't read enough of it. Um, but again, I'm a huge fan of Miss Gerard's. Going in, um, this one was a tough book to get through. It was a, you know, a 12 issue maxi series in, in this collected edition. And it read very dense and it took me multiple sittings. I think it took me about five uh, sittings or so to get through. Um, the It was a lot of different things. This is very artistic book and I don't want to knock it on, on that. The combination of the methods that they use to tell the story um, and the art choices they, they use and they use different uh, manufactured effects. Uh, it was jarring at parts. Sometimes it made it hard to follow and hard to get into and knowing what was real, what was part of uh, Miracle Man or Scott Free's mental state at the time, which is a, is a great device. And I've heard a lot about a Tom King um, playing up a lot that, you know, that superheroes are, are realistic characters and they're flawed and, and what, you know, what affect fighting crime and fighting these other villain, fighting villains and, and all these kind of things have the effect and toll that it takes on them. And it really plays into that a lot. Um, I think the problem for me is when I read superhero books, I do it to escape, not to be smacked with even more of what I might be dealing with in my own life. And I was like, there's a little bit too much realism infused into my superhero book um, that made it hard to palette and, and broke that, you know, that dynamic of what I want when I'm reading a comic book that is kind of that escapism and I'm going to another world. It felt too realistic, like the real world for me. Um, not saying that it was a bad book. It wasn't a great book for me. Um, you know, I, I went halfway in and as I read different books for reviews, you know, I take notes along the way and I made this one comment that I felt like some of it was being extra for the sake of being extra or being real for the sake of being real, um, to the point where I was going to borderline say maybe it was being a little pretentious. But I pulled back from that as I finished reading the whole book and I felt it less. And I feel like Tom King comes from a very um, good place in covering these issues. Um, he's talked about uh, it's known that he worked for the CIA. He, he did things and he was around different people. He served, you know, <clears throat> um, overseas and he saw things. So. I think he does a great job in infusing those real life things to a point where it sheds light on it that these heroes, you know, they don't go unscathed when they save the day. And that I do appreciate. And I think it comes from a heartfelt place. It's not to be as you be something to be something different just for the sake of being different or catch headlines. I think it comes from a, a very heartfelt place where he's trying to shed light on, on these issues for, so when we look at real life heroes, as much as these, you know, uh, fictional heroes that we can understand what they go through. Cause sometimes 
they we don't and we they we we are not there for those people like we should be and he's helping shed light through this platform which i don't knock him at all for it um while reading the book the interesting thing was scott free which is the title character mr miracle i liked the least in the book i really felt like the book as i went on was a love letter to big barda more so than it was Scott Free. To me, he was a very self-loathing. Um, he was very, he did heroic things, but he had to get nudged and pushed by a lot of the surrounding cast uh, to do those things because he was dealing with so much other stuff. So I guess it's a testament to him through all the things he was going through physically and emotionally, he could still go out there and do his job and help and save people um, no matter what the, the cost to him. Um, but I love Tom King's Big Barda and I fell in love more so in love with that character and their relationship together. Now that part of the realism, um, I have a very strong relationship with my wife. Um, we have a, you know, really good friendship. Um, and I saw, you know, echoes of that throughout their love story as it went through the 12 issues that I really related to and that put me in a really good space and reading. So it helped some, some of the rougher parts of the book that it was hard for me to get through that relationship and their, their banter back and forth was just what I loved the most about the book. Um, I feel like this book is not going to be for everyone. Um, <clears throat> I honestly think personally, I would never read this book again. Um, if they were to do a sequel series, um, I'm 50, 50, if I would even pick it up, uh, maybe if as long as big Bart is involved, I would read it because I just love the way Tom wrote her. Um, but I think I would have to, if I had to grade this on a 10 point scale, I would give it a seven out of 10. So I feel like some people will love it. Some people will be, will be just like, it's okay. Like I said, it won awards. I mean, he's gotten a lot of, you know, props for it. And I think Tom King is a solid, you know, writer. You know, I've heard things like he kind of goes to this stitch, you know, stick a lot, like with the over-realism in his superhero books. And it's, it's a turn off for certain people. I'm like 50-50. I have to read more to see how I feel overall um, about him as a writer. But at this, I can give it a 7 out of 10. So I feel like I, I kind of hear on the recommendation. We got a halfway because I, I know not everyone's going to like this book. And I'm kind of mad on how I feel about it. I think it's definitely solid, but it didn't knock my socks off. So um, that's where I kind of leave it. 7 out of 10. Um, but that's all I have for you guys for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the comic book review. Uh, I will put a link to the playlist here or here. I always forget um, that will take you to all the comic reviews I've done so far on the channel. Um, also, if you like the reviews, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Um, it helps me a ton. Um, and also leave comments down below. Tell me if you read this and, and what would you score it? Um, or maybe even some recommendations on, um, if I didn't care for this, what are the books that Tom King's written that I might enjoy better? So, um, all that, you know, we have a great community that we're building up here. So feel free to comment down below and become a part of this great community that we have going on here. Um, also, if you're not familiar, um, outside of this YouTube channel, I've been podcasting as a comic book podcaster for about 13 and a half years. Um, so if you go over to iTunes, if you like what you see here and you want to hear more, um, I have about 400 plus episodes available. Go over to iTunes, just do a search for comic book savant and subscribe to the podcast feed. More, all the more recent episodes are posted here on the YouTube channel. It's a playlist that I will now put there. Uh, so you will see that playlist as well. Uh, but again, I don't have all 400 plus episodes here. So you definitely want to check it out on, on um, iTunes. So subscribe there. Um, that's all I have for you guys for this episode. Um, I will see you guys next time for another episode of Comic Book Savant. I'm your host, James Harris. And until then, take care and I will see you soon. <laughs>